it broke my heart um, in, in 2015 to to leave television. And the sad thing is, my experience isn't unusual or different. It's typical for the industry. I never felt I could talk about my disability uh, because you, you're working on quite short-term contracts. I guess that the one word I would describe um, in terms of approaches um, or beliefs around disability in the industry is limited. I think the idea of what disability is, who is disabled, what people look like if they're disabled um, is, is very limited. My disability, I'm not a parent. When you look at me, I can walk and talk, get around as well as the next person. And just because I talk well or I present myself in a certain way doesn't mean that there are certain struggles that are happening behind scene. I, I've had an exec telling me, oh, is that the one where you can't read and write? They weren't particularly supportive. Um, and really throughout the time, just not very good. I said to them, oh, can you tell us where the disabled parking is? And they were just like, oh yeah, there's tons, there's tons. Just go down the side street, wrong. Bollocks, absolute rubbish. They, there was no disabled parking anywhere. And we ended up parking, you know, a good 25 minute walk away. I think it's important that people within broadcasting understand the gravity of what they're doing. I moved to Manchester and I lived in my car. There was a hotel that I used to go into every morning, change my shirt, change my trousers. That is the proactive reality for people with some sorts of disabilities living in broadcasting because no one within that broadcaster offered me the help that I needed. On the end of all of these discussions, there are human beings and there are media professionals. There needs to be a reframing of conversation around disability within an industry. 